our project. Today we're taking a trip to Indonesia to learn about Komodo dragons. This is the skin of a Komodo dragon. What textures do you see? Remember texture is how something feels or looks like it feels. Today we are going to be using a lot of warm and cool colours, so here is a reminder of what they are. This is what we are doing today. Where are the warm colours used? If you said on the Komodo dragon, then you are 100% correct. And where are the cool colours used? The cool colours are used in the background. Here are some I can statements, because I know you can do all of these things. Today, I will learn about Komodo dragons, so that I can create a paper version of this big lizard from Indonesia. Today, I will learn about texture so that I can draw different types of lines to add visual texture to my Komodo dragon and background. Today, I will learn about colour so I can use warm colours on my Komodo dragon and cool colours in my background. Step 1. Let's draw our Komodo dragon. This is a step-by-step -step guide to help you. It is also in the general folder. And here are some more Komodo dragons if you would like something a little bit more difficult. Okay boys, now I've drawn my kimono dragon and we're going to use warm colours um, to do our kimono dragon today. So remember, warm colours are colours that make you think of heat and the sun. So things, um, colours like red and orange and yellow, those are all warm colours. And we're going to be doing our kimono dragon in warm colours and the background in cool colours so that it adds contrast. Okay, so... What we're going to do now is I am going to um, add in some lines and things. You can copy the textures on that one handout in the general folder. This is just to give you an idea of what the textures should look like. You can choose your own if you'd like. It's just to help you. Or you can come up with your own textures. I would like you to try different textures. So I'm going to do some lines and so maybe lines like this and then bigger lines coming like this all over and once you've done this then we are going to add different textures around the edges so as you can see i have done all of these patterns all over my kimono dragon obviously you can do um, your own patterns, whatever you'd like, whatever you think looks good. So now what we're going to do is we are going to do um, dabs of colour. A note for those of us who don't have paint. For those of you who don't have paints, please don't panic. I just want to show you what you can do. So I've just got a couple of pieces of paper here. I'm just going to use this one. So you can do your texture. So this is our texture for our Komodo dragon. Okay. If you've got... Um, a crayon or a pastel you can do this and then you can get your um, twisties and you can go and color nice and lightly over in between the different spots okay so you can do that um, it is actually pretty cool the pastel will smudge a little bit while you're coloring but it will give a really nice effect so if you want to do look at that isn't that cool so if you want to do that you can if you don't have paint um there is also another thing so there we go so can you see it gives that textured look but also we're mixing and blending our colors so that is one way for you to do it another way for you to do it is you can use just your twisty so that's one example for you look how diverse and colorful that is right now you can also use your twisty so if i have my red twisty over here and I do my designs and my patterns maybe let me do some of these like this and some lines as well just to show you the patterns from the Komodo dragon and then I come with my orange and I do a light coloring okay you can do this as well look at that you see the orange you see the red and you can still see your textures coming through Okay, so please, please, please do not panic if you do not have paint. It is absolutely fine. I just need to show you different techniques throughout the year and um, wax resist and how do you make a, a picture using wax resist is one of those things that I actually have to teach you. So there we go. 
You have your red, your orange, your yellow, and you can do little dabs of color. It'll help you with your blending as well. Remember when you're blending, you go over the one color and then you form its own color like that. See? All right. Hopefully that helps you boys. Please don't panic and you're welcome to message me if you have any questions. For those of us who do have paint, we get our paintbrush with some paint and gonna paint over in oranges, reds and yellows. Please don't worry if you don't have paints, um, you can just watch this part and then you can just color in. <laughs> And I've done them in lots of dabs of reds and oranges and yellows just to give it a little bit more um, texture. Can you see all of my oil pastel is coming through? That's, remember, what we called resist. This is watercolor resist because I've used watercolor. It's also known as wax resist because um, the wax in the oil pastel resists the water. It doesn't allow the water to stick onto it. So um, what I'm going to do now is I am going to work on my little plants using cool colors. I would like you to draw at least four little plants. Um, you can draw more. I've just drawn them on the same page as my kimono dragon so that I don't waste any um, paper. Because kimono dragons live on a handful of tropical islands in Indonesia, we are going to do an island background. So we're going to have a little cliff looking over um, a beautiful mountain scenery. So our little dragon is going to be on the cliff. I'm going to just put my marking book underneath so it doesn't go onto the table. And I'm going to draw a wavy line. And this wavy line is where the dragon is going to sit. Okay, so he's going to be able to fit there nicely and survey the scenery. I'm going to put it onto a time lapse quickly and then just finish the rest of the scenery. I'm going to outline everything and I am then going to add in my cool colors. Okay, so like we did the wax resist over here and added in little shapes to give texture, I'm going to do the same thing in the background. Okay, so if you do not have paints, this is the sort of thing that your paper is going to look like. You can then use your twisties to color in. So you've done some lovely lines in there and then you can use your twisties to color in the white spaces. So you can use a blue to color in the sky and then you've got your um, waves here and just go lightly and color in lightly um, around the things that you've drawn if you are using twisties. If you are using paint, then we are going to um, paint this whole thing in cool colors. I'm going to put it on time lapse again just so you can see it um but i don't want you yeah to watch me painting the whole thing it'll take a really long time Time to cut out the Komodo dragon and the plants. Now this is dry, I'm going to start adding in my little elements. So I've cut out all my little things, my Komodo dragon, my grasses, and all the cute little um, tropical decorations. 
So I can put these down here. Uh, maybe this one there. So don't stick them down straight away. Um, you can place them where you think they'll look good and overlap them a little bit as well to give it a sense of um, fullness. So I think I'm going to stick down my dragon there and then it looks, now I've looked at my um, paper and it does look a little bit empty. So what I'd probably do is add in a few more little um, plants and then I would be done. And then obviously you can also do some touching up if you've accidentally painted over where the marker was. Um, here we go. Just to make things stand out a little bit more. So I'm going to stick these down and I will show you what it looks like at the end. Please stick your Komodo dragon and plants onto your background. Here's our piece. I'm happy with our Komodo dragon. I think he's very fun. And I think I would add more um, plants at the bottom. So I like the plants. I think they're really fun. But I do think an odd number of plants would make it look more um, aesthetically pleasing. So it would be nicer to look at. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, take a do another plant, take a picture and put it in the general folder. Boys, I hope you really enjoy the lesson and have a wonderful day.